Hello my fellow felines, this is Kitty Cat Plays of the Yarn here, and welcome to another speed build. And today we are building a bright and light eco home, and I'm going to be honest with you, I actually built this like four months ago at this point, and um, I wish that was an exaggeration, but the day I'm recording this, uh, the 14th of October, it's actually been four months exactly since I shared this to the gallery. Um, so I shared that on June 14th. Uh, so it's been a minute since I've actually touched this house, but I really enjoy how it turned out and I hope you guys do as well. It is a uh, two bedroom, one bathroom, but one of the bedrooms is converted into kind of a home studio, home office, because I imagined that a single, uh, very kind of business work driven sim lives here by themselves no animals no other people just solitary and you know some days a life like that doesn't sound too bad does it that's not even a joke either like i some days i feel like i would just be better off if i just live like completely solitary but i know i would go crazy without like an animal at least um i don't know why that that went where it did but it did um and i i was saying no animals because like i didn't put any things for animals in this house i kind of wish i did in hindsight because i feel like if a sim is so kind of business driven and solitary that they would want a pet but um hindsight is 2020 i guess <laughs> so right now we're just working on the exterior kind of trying to get the floor plan all straightened out and then we go in to the kitchen, which is probably one of my favorite parts of the build. Uh, you guys know that I love doing kitchens, so um, obviously that's going to be my favorite part in a lot of builds. But yeah, and I ended up putting some solar panels on the roof over here. Um, I know I didn't need them because I actually used the solar panel roofing that came with Eco Lifestyle. But I wanted to put them up there anyway just for like the added kind of effect uh, to make this home seem kind of more eco-friendly. And I also put a few wind turbines in. Uh, there are, I think, two on the balcony thing and then one on the roof, if I remember properly. There might not be one on the roof. Um, but there are at least those two that are on the balcony and then I have some planters and some other stuff. Um, like I said, I just wanted to make this house very eco-friendly, and this was right around the time when Eco Lifestyle came out, so I was still very obsessed with all the items, and I mean, I, I still am. I, I love this pack to death, um, but I'm saying if you're seeing me use them kind of repeatedly, that's why. Um, and that was kind of the, the goal of this house anyway, was to use a lot of the Eco Lifestyle stuff that I haven't touched yet. Um, and by now I've used most of it, if not all of it, uh, at least in a build once or twice, but um, still haven't really done much gameplay with it just because I hardly ever do gameplay in general. So this is the probably fifth time I've tried to do this voiceover, and um, the like fourth voiceover I tried to do today. Um, I don't know why, but lately I've just been having a really hard time with voiceovers, struggling to figure out what to say, or I keep umming and aahing through it, or I just kind of space out and don't know what to talk about. And um, you know, that's just the reality of it sometimes, I think. But hopefully we can get through this one all the way and not have any problems. Uh, like I said, I've tried this one like four or five times, and this is the first time I'm trying it today. So I'm crossing my fingers and everything else that it'll work, and we can continue. But uh, if it doesn't, you're not hearing this anyway, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? Uh, now that I talked about the build a little bit though, I want to tell you a story um, about how I thought I broke my toes this morning. Um, so, you know, I was getting in the shower, as you do when you're a human that showers, uh, and we have, like, a, a raised tub shower combo, so, like, I was trying to get in the tub, and I 
mat my three little toes on my left foot on the tub so hard as I was getting into the shower and I almost fell. I almost fell on my face directly in the shower. I didn't fall, but I did smack my toes. So um, it was a little traumatic. <laughs> Joking, not actually traumatized. Um, not from that at least. But um, no, I I was convinced that I had broken my toe because it hurt so bad. I was like tearing up. It was awful. And then, you know, I'm, I'm like washing my face and doing all the shower stuff. And I look down and my toe is like bruised already. And I'm like, great, I broke it. Um, and I say that because last time I hurt myself this badly was um, a little over a year ago. I essentially got tangled up in two dog leashes at once. And one dog was pulling me one way, one dog was pulling me the other. Um, and I also fell down a few stairs at the same time. I'm really clumsy. I don't want to talk about it. Um, but I, last time I hurt myself that bad, uh, one leash got wrapped around my ankle really hard and the dog was pulling. And then another dog that was in my hand still, well, well the leash was in my hand, not the actual dog, was going the other way. Um, and I fell down the stairs, like I said, and, um, it was like three stairs. It wasn't anything major, but it was enough to, uh, frustrate me um and when I stood up I couldn't put any weight on my ankle at all um the left ankle and as soon as I got inside it was swelling it was like the size of a baseball and um it just was not a good time and it was bruised and it was swelling and everybody was like Jen you need to go to the hospital this is broken and I was like no it's not I can still move it and I could move it barely but I could still move it <laughs> um, but it hurt a lot whenever I did and I was like no it's fine I can still move it and I waited like an hour and then I was like okay take me to the hospital I, need I should go to the hospital this is a bad idea um, so I went to the hospital and they were like, they, you know, did x-rays and everything, and and they were like, what happened? So I explained the situation to them, which is a weird situation to explain to doctors at an emergency room, but I did it anyway. They have probably definitely heard worse, so I wasn't super anxious about it. Um, and then I wait on the x-rays, and the doctor comes back in, and he goes, your dogs really did a number on you, and I was like, what do you mean? And he says, well, you're lucky. And I was like, I don't feel lucky because this hurts a lot. I was in so much pain. They did they did nothing for me. But um, it was kind of a shitty hospital anyway. That's the point. He goes, you're lucky. And I was like, why? Why am I lucky? Tell me. And he goes, well, it's not broken. And I was like, I looked at my mom. I was like, I told you. they, I told you they didn't break my ankle. And he goes, no, it's a severe sprain which is worse than a break. And I couldn't put weight on my ankle for, I shit you not, probably like two weeks. Um, and then I had to keep the brace on for, I would say about three months after. It was a rough time. And I asked him, I was like, well, what would you have done if I did break it? And they were like, well, we could put a cast on it if you broke it, but since you didn't break it, we're not putting a cast on it. We'll just wrap it. And I don't quite understand that logic, especially when he said that the sprain is worse than a break. I don't know why I went on that long tangent about breaking my ankle or almost breaking my ankle, but I did and uh, you're welcome, I guess. Now we're working on the master bedroom. And like I said, the other one could be a bedroom as well, but I made it into an office for this sim. And I'm doing this little thing in the corner by the mirror that I was doing a lot at the time. I was I would put a standing mirror or a wall mirror that's low down like this one is, and just put um, the makeup items, so like, the one that has the hair dryer and the one that has like the the container of makeup 
and I would put those down by a mirror and just be like, oh, this is where they get ready in the morning because, you know, not everybody necessarily has room for a whole vanity or room in their bathroom or whatever. And I imagine that the sim was kind of one of those and also in turn that the sim was younger and didn't necessarily have enough funds to like get a vanity or something like that even though there is room uh like i don't know well i guess there's not much room in this house but um that was kind of my thought process is that like this sim is used to doing their makeup this way anyway so that's why they do it um and we're just cluttering stuff up not doing too too much um but yeah in uh in conclusion uh, don't hurt yourself, don't be clumsy like Jen, because I am way too clumsy and it's really frustrating. Um, actually, if we're talking about me being clumsy, uh, just the other day, probably like three days ago now, I was getting out of the car and I was stepping onto a curb, so um, my foot was essentially going from one level to the same level, but just like out of the car. And I, um, I pulled a muscle stepping out of the car. Tell me how I managed to do that because that was hell. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how I managed. I think I twisted my leg weird when I stepped out or something. Um, but I, I then asked someone that kind of knows about like anatomy and stuff I was like hey what muscle is this and I told them like where it was hurting whatever and I think we figured out that it was my quad that I somehow pulled um but I really just genuinely don't know how like I said I think I must have twisted it or something weird uh and now we're working on the little hallway well I don't know if, if I would even call it a hallway a landing I don't know um upstairs landing area I guess I'll call it uh, because there is a ladder, not stairs. Oops. Um, but that's where laundry is. Nothing too special there. Uh, and I've talked through everything else. I ended up cutting the bathroom out of this build because it did take me so long. But now we're just kind of working on the outdoor areas and uh, putting lots of plants everywhere because, like I said towards the beginning, I wanted this house to be very eco friendly. And in my head, eco friendly equals plants. And I know they're not synonymous with each other, but uh, in my head, it's close enough. I don't know how I feel about the bench that I left out there because it doesn't fit with the style at all, but I thought, I don't know, it looks cute, right? I, ugh, I don't know how I feel about that in hindsight, but um, yeah, just putting a flower arranging table and I think, no, do I not put a box out there? I thought I put a box with the bugs that make the fuel um oh but there are lots of planter spaces um i actually put uh five of them out back right there with some bee boxes and then i end up putting more on the balcony upstairs i think i put like three more up there oh and i used um the tile from jungle adventure that i really love on the outdoor spaces because I feel like tile equals eco-friendly. I don't, that doesn't make sense at all, but in my head, that's what it is. And uh, here are the wind turbines. And then I think I do end up keeping a recycling machine out here. And if I remember correctly, a water uh, catcher thing as well, but I might be wrong. Is that what that is in the corner? I don't know, I missed it completely. But if it was there, uh, then you saw it. But we are going to jump in to some screenshots now. So feel free to go ahead and download this build off the gallery if you want to. The hashtag is kittycatpwy or my origin ID, which is kittycatpwyarn. But with all that being said, I'm gonna go and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.
I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon, evening, or whatever, wherever you are in your neck of the world. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to become a paw parent because I post new videos all the time. And I will see you all in the next video.